What's up everybody, Dare Ting here. All right, so we're continuing with a new episode of Upgrade where you can find out more about my predictions on the future of technology. Um, so this video is about the um, world emergency of COVID-19 and what it's gonna have an impact on tech, where I see there is an acceleration of growth. Um, so uh, let's first talk about the travel sector. I think one of the things that I wanted to talk about was the fact that um, we're gonna see in multiple um, places, such as obviously the airport, uh, temperature checks. They already have this in Hong Kong because of the 2003 SAR epidemic. Um, but uh, now I think this is gonna be widespread. It's gonna be very common. You're gonna have to go through a temperature check. And what that is is, um, you actually just walk normally and if they're unable to take a reading, you're gonna to to take off your hat and they're gonna like try to um, check your temperature. I think this is very good. This is gonna be very common um, for getting on boats and uh, planes and other, other places, maybe even things like a Lakers game. Um, so look for advances in technology for quickly checking people on the uh, temperature level. All right, so part two is um, in the medical arena, I'm thinking that um, the process to um, see a physician or a general doctor for any kind of uh, common symptom or flu is going to be done at home and then through teleconference. That's gonna be the first barrier uh, for you to check how well you're doing. And then so you're gonna, you're gonna either um, you know, prick your finger or take some blood and you're gonna send it off to um, a lab yourself or through somebody who picks it up and then, uh, and then once the results are there, uh, you're gonna be chatting um, in person but on video um, with a physician who's gonna be looking at your results and talking to you. And, um, and that, or, or maybe not even a, um, a physician yet, you might just talk with a nurse first. And if they think that the uh, issue needs escalating, it's gonna go, um, it's gonna go uh, to the next level. So I see that, I see there's gonna be I see there happening to be an app um, available for you to do this, and um, hopefully this becomes um, something uh, that people do worldwide. That you can easily do that, and rather than just you know emergency room, you wait in line, all the thing, all those things, which are totally archaic. Um, I think that can change drastically with um, the right devices, and so um, hopefully the government would get involved in doing these things, but. Who knows, maybe someone will do this independently and that'll be like an, an, an additional barrier. We'll see, but I think that this process will change. Okay, um, in terms of um, going to work, the gig economy is real and it's becoming even more real. More people are gonna be working from home and it's more justification to do it before being, in, being there in person was a necessity, but um, you know, I'm not sure if it's the most efficient use of time and space and resources. Now a lot of things should be shared and that's why a lot of the co-working stuff had kind of taken off quickly because there's no point in a lot of businesses, um, you know, sort of replicating services just like um, copying, uh, photocopying, Wi-Fi, internet, um, things that, you know, uh, they're unable to scale up on. So they share those in those kind of tele, uh, in those sort of offices and then everything else is done telecommute or you're meeting at, you know, you're meeting at certain places too. But uh, definitely, um, definitely I see um, a lot of teleconference technology becoming much more um, uh, prevalent and more common for people to be um, doing that. So look for, look for technolo like technology companies that are doing those things. Um, maybe a good buy in the stock market. I definitely see um, sort of gadgets and things where you can kind of sanitize very, fairly quickly. Um, and, uh, and maybe even in terms of um, things like, um, you know, how the Roomba is or those sort of like, you know, vacuums, maybe the, some robotics will come into play where they can, you know, something can go around your house and sanitize uh, for you. But I, th I can see gadgets uh, coming online that are related to keeping things clean. Um, and then, so uh, on the flip side, I think in terms of delivery, you know, you can see um, even on Amazon, there's delays for things getting delivered. And I, I could see that, um, you know, the ramp up to be more efficient when things need to be um, delivered is going to increase even more. Fortunately, I mean, even I, I saw a video on Amazon about 
the electric vehicles they're building, which is kind of kind of exciting. And then obviously, like um, you know, Elon Musk was building those like electric, uh, um, uh, you know, shipping trucks. So um, you know, we're, we're definitely seeing that efficiency, logistic. I see I see that scaling up even more because. You know, um, like the uh, older generation, they're not used to doing that. So, you know, they still want to go to a store and they still want to, um, you know, uh, you know, shop for things. Um, but like buying everything from an app, getting all your groceries from an app is uh, nowadays super convenient and just requires a tip. And it might be even cheaper than you spending the gas money or the time to go out and pick all these items up. Because once you know you want, you know, you can just kind of choose those things again. So I can see, um, you know, from the job perspective, there's going to be a lot of people collecting things, getting them for you, um, and then delivering it to your door. And that's why I said, actually, I just tweeted about um, Uber. I think Uber, in terms of, you know, taking people around, I still think that's going to continue to be robust. It's a service that um, people can't ignore and people need. Um, but the Uber Eats section, I could see that um, sort of taking off in a high velocity, tremendous way. There's gonna be more people needed to go pick up things from a different store because people wanna stay at home, especially in these two months. So look for revenue or uh, technology that's around that or, or things that are doing that. Um, you know, uh, then um, I just wanna mention about masks because most people in the States, they don't wanna wear masks. Even I'm sure people in Europe don't wanna wear masks. In uh, Hong Kong, they wear them like you know, everyone wears them, and daily even, um, just to protect other people um, from getting their sickness. It is frustrating, you know, I go to a public park and, um, you know, there's, there's people even just last week um, sneezing and coughing with a red nose, and it's like, why are you out, like, at this time? And you're, you know, you're not really being um, conscientious of other people and um, being caring uh, about your, your fellow, you know, your fellow, fellow uh, human beings and uh, I, I still don't get it it's very very common it's not just you know every so often it's very very common and uh, you know um, that needs to change I could see um, that more people will be willing to wear a mask and so as that becomes more prevalent I could see even in style um, that that might become more of a trend and then uh, also though the technology behind it right now I mean there aren't that many um, variations and versions, but I can totally see a lot of companies right now starting up, um, not only are they trying to make masks to supply, um, you know, the, the common person or the medical um, people in the medical profession, but also I could see, um, you know, going into the style arena and the technology arena to make it um, cost efficient and effective. Okay, so um, that finally brings me to, you know, my favorite area. Of course, I'm a filmmaker. So, um, you know, I definitely see um, things like VR and AR becoming much more prevalent. Um, it's, uh, it's already been, it's needed that extra, um, it's trying to get in over this hump where people are like, well, you know, um, how necessary it is. It is still kind of bulky, but I do see, um, the interest going way, way up because, um, you know, it, it, it does save time in terms of, let's say, even just filtering around things. If you're, if, for example, in the real estate arena, um, if you can see a home quickly and know right away that it's not for you, um, then that saves you time of having to go to every single house. Um, so I can see the VR and AR um, really, really, um, you know, improving and uh, people people going after but also um, uh, in terms of the demand for content I do think that that is going to um, go up more as people are saving time from not having to commute or um, you know they're they're at home and they can't um, do other activities that they're gonna watch more things and now I have found even nowadays that it's hard for me to get into something like a TV series because it takes a long time um, and it's a, it's a bit of a time investment. So, um, you know, I still look for features. I like producing features. Don't get me wrong. I like TV series as well, um, you know, but, um, but I do see there uh, an ex, um, a s extreme demand for indie films. Now, if they're being watched at home, then, um, you know, they're not going to be able to warrant those big, you know, $100 million, $200 million um, budgets. Um, so I can see the demand 
for um, 1 million to 100 million um, types of uh, programming really, really taking off. Um, and, uh, and the streaming wars that are going on, um, it's only going to get more um, heated. Um, and I think what, what, um, what's really going to separate them out is, um, is what they offer in addition to just the own content sort of, you know, what is the world of, um, of, you know, of what they're building in their sort of ecosystem. So, um, so anyway, that's it. I just wanted to say hello. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's definitely a gloomy day, um, but uh, hopefully, you know, you're staying home with friends and family and, um, you know, hope you'll like and share and subscribe uh, to my channel and, uh, you know, hope to see you next time. So uh, thanks again.